What's good out there everyone? It's Roll Easy and I'm finally back. It's been a long time since I've made a glitch video, but this is Frozen Money SPMP and I just had to show you guys how to hit this one. All right, shout out to the founders K Glitcher and Tuesdays. Now, what you're going to need for this glitch is a PS4. I'm sorry Xbox guys, but there's a certain alert that I think you guys can't get in the clouds. If I learn something different, I'll let you know down in the comments. All right, but this is full Frozen Money. I'm going to teach you how to do the apartments glitch and how to get a bunch of delay Luxos and whatever else you want and store them. All right, so what you're gonna need is one friend and an invite only job. So invite only session, launch into a job into the settings and lobby menu and you're good to go as the friend, all right? Now, you wanna say your online spawn location somewhere outside. So make sure you don't land into any interiors. Uh, other than that, the save you wanna be using in story mode, anything under the mi minor turbulence, and honestly, if you have a 100% game save, I'd recommend using that. And in terms of money, you're gonna need at least 1.2 million for apartments and at least 5 million in the bank if you wanna buy deluxos or like oppressors or something, okay? But other than that, that's pretty much it. So we're gonna go ahead and get started here with the glitch now. Now you wanna go back to story mode after you've set your spawn location, input the cheat to get cops on you. All you want is one star. We're just trying to get busted here, all right? We're just trying to get busted, get arrested, and uh, bring that online. So I'll, I'll put the cheat down in the description in case you guys don't know for PS4. But uh, yeah, so right here we're gonna really start the glitch. So I'm running up to the cops. The second my hands go up, Boom, I'm gonna press pause. Now I'm gonna head over to the online tab. When I'm on the online tab, I'm gonna hover over choose character. Now you're gonna see a couple fails here and different variations. This all depends, I think, on your connection, to be honest with you, but it's fairly easy to hit once you figure out what you can do. So you wanna disconnect your internet. And now when you disconnect your internet and go back to the game, you're gonna see that you have a menu under a menu. So hover over choose character, reconnect the internet again, and the point is to spam X twice while those tech, while that text is still grayed out, okay? That means it's trying to establish the connection back. So I'm gonna try a couple things here. I'm gonna disconnect, reconnect, go back to the game, and you see spam X twice, didn't really work out for me, okay? So I'm gonna try that again, just in case. Re disconnect, reconnect, go back to the game, wasn't able to do it. This is the successful attempt I had, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hover over choose character, disconnect, go back to the game, hover over choose character again, reconnect the internet, and then spam X twice when I get back to the game. If you've done that correctly, you should get this alert right here. Rockstar game services are unavailable. This is where you need your friend, okay? So you're gonna have to rejoin the party because of the uh, disconnections. But once you join your friend that's in an invite job, you're gonna go ahead and sit on this alert for roughly 10 to 15 seconds. Now the alert from the, from the join that you just did is gonna pop up in the background, okay? So after around 15 seconds, you wanna go ahead and accept both alerts. Accept that alert and that alert. All right, you'll get quitting session and now a black screen. There's really not that much timing. I chilled, this is real time, I chilled on this black screen for a few seconds. I went ahead and double tapped, went back to the party and joined my friend that's in the invite job. Now, accept that alert, you'll also get the private alert, accept that one as well. Now you should get joining GTA Online in the bottom right. Now, you need to wait around 25 to 30 seconds on here. I fast forwarded through it so it wouldn't take too long in the video, but wait about 25 to 30 seconds. Now, join your friend again, okay? You're gonna see this alert. Do not accept it. Do not accept that alert. Just let that alert sit there, okay? This is the join alert. We're gonna need this to spawn online and get the split without getting kicked, okay? So the alert will go away. Right there, I didn't accept it. That alert actually went away by itself, but it's not, It's not. you know, long gone. It's gonna come back. So right now I'm forwarding this because you do have a bit of hang time in the clouds. This doesn't happen instantaneously. So... Amongst all this hang time, finally we're gonna load down here and you should see the split along with the alert that should pop up for a second here. All right, so we're gonna go down, then that alert goes away, the split happens, perfect, the alert comes back, now you can decline it. So as you can see, we're Michael in a brand new online session and that's my, you know, my ped character right there that's just walking away, completely lifeless, all right? Like an NPC basically. So at this point, you do not have frozen money yet. I'll show you how to get that, okay? 
So right now you want to go ahead and head over to a peyote location if you're trying to do this frozen money part. So I'm going to show you this peyote location that I like to go to almost every time. It's nice and easy right on the map. Uh, I'm going to show you here when I open up the map in a second, but it's over in the southern Los Santos customs at the bottom of the map here. It's by the airport. There's one kind of close in the baseball field right there at that location in front of like the arena. But this is the one I like to go to. All right. The baseball field's another good location, but I'm going to go over to the Los Santos customs location. Nice and simple to get to. It's right behind. So I'm going to go right back here. Still Michael. And now I'm going to go to the peyote. You should actually hear it. It's going to kind of, you know, dictate what animal you turn into. And since we're doing the apartment glitch, I'm just going to show you. I have all the cheapest apartments right now. All right, just to show you guys, I'll even get rid of this third option just to, just to show you that I have all the cheap apartments. All right, so right now I have only cheap apartments and I'm going to go ahead and eat the peyote. Now you won't see an icon that says right D-pad or anything. Just walk over it, hit right D-pad. Your controller should vibrate and you'll get into this animation. Now this is the animation that's going to let you know you're about to trip balls and turn into an animal. So once we turn into an animal here from eating the peyote, this is where you have frozen money active. I actually fast forwarded through this white flash here because it does take a little bit of time. So now and uh, get this, I have a bounty. All right. So just keep that in mind. But go, press pause, go to Criminal Enterprise, follow my steps here, follow the links. And this is actually how you get online to be able to order stuff. All right. And what you want to do is you want to order the most expensive apartments. Since your money's frozen, order the most expensive apartments over these slots right here. OK, so slot one, as you can see, no money is being taken out in the top right. So just keep buying the most expensive apartments you can buy. This is why you needed a decent like about one point two million in the bank. But your money's frozen. You can buy as many as you want while your money's frozen. You just need that amount, first of all, to get started. So as you can see here, I think I have one more left. I've bought the expensive apartments for free, basically, and all of my slots. OK. Now, at this point, you'd probably want to end the hallucination or maybe buy Deluxos. Not me. I got killed. Remember I said I had a bounty? They actually just killed me. Thankfully, I didn't blue screen because that'll happen sometimes when you die next to other players. But yeah, I was killed. The guy got my bounty. I think he even had a bounty too on him. Yeah, if you see on the map there. And uh, it ended my hallucination. Thankfully, I was done buying my apartments though. Normally, you want to hold right D-pad to end the hallucination once you're done. All right, so I have this double menu here. I went into passive there. And by the way, if you get caught on the double menu if you close it and open it back up real quick you'll be fine and the double menu won't get in your way so at this point i opened up my phone and i went to the internet and now that my money's unfrozen from ending the hallucination i'm gonna go ahead and i'm actually gonna buy now the cheapest apartments over all of these that i just bought with frozen money so i bought the cheapest one i just got 525,000 off the first apartment and it'll get you know a little bit less each time but you're still going to be making a hell of a lot of money and the best part is this goes straight into your bank account that's four hundred and twenty six thousand dollars that i got off that second one and you just want to keep repeating this okay buy the most buy the cheapest apartments now with your real money and buy them all over those expensive ones that you got with frozen money and so you're getting you know the kind of like the rebate price all right 372 grand and when you add it all up this is about uh 2.5 million i think exactly for me it's about 2.47 but yeah so it's roughly two and a half million dollars that you get every time you do this and it's going straight into your bank account no need to sell cars or anything like that directly into your bank account nice and easy cash Okay. So at this point, if you want to rinse and repeat, you actually need that 100% game save I told you about for the peyotes to show back up. So when the peyote has gone, if you want to rinse and repeat, you want to go into a job like you see me doing here, tighten up a job and just back out. And obviously that was different video footage, but I guarantee you this works. I know my boy Shift, founder of a lot of stuff. I think he's the one that came up with it. But yeah, so once you have the peyote there, if you have the 100% game completion, you can press right D-pad and you'll go ahead and go into the animation again and you can do the entire glitch now what I'm gonna show you in this go around is I'm gonna show you how to buy deluxos and what to do with them now you should know how to buy deluxos it's pretty self-explanatory they're 4.7 million so that's why I said you needed around 5 million in the bank just to at least get one when you have frozen money if you have the price for one you have the price for all of them so as you can see right there no money taken out I was able to buy it and just to show you guys I'm gonna buy about eight because uh, there's two cars in there I care about so I'm gonna buy eight deluxos and I'm gonna put them all in this garage the garage over at eclipse tower and i'm going to show you guys that you actually don't need to do anything special to save it believe it or not at least not with this glitch you're going to see exactly what i did here 
I end the hallucination instantly. We used to wait for the cars to get delivered. No need. Just end the hallucination uh, right after you order the cars. You can see they're getting delivered as I'm Michael. Peyote's not there anymore. And what I did was I went over to that garage. Since I heard they were delivered, I went over to the garage. I thought this looked weird. And it turned out that I got caught on this screen here. Now, I thought I was screwed. I thought the cars wouldn't save. So I just pressed pause and I went to creator and I hope for the best. Now, before we used to swap the cars to actually save save them. Now, that was, you know, what everybody thought. Not the case, ladies and gentlemen, not the case at all. You do not even have to swap them. You don't have to do anything special. I went to creator, then pressed pause and went into an online session after they were delivered. Didn't even try to force a game save. All right. Now, what I did notice is I didn't have my Eclipse Tower apartment for some reason. All right. It reverted back or whatever. That's all good. I didn't realize because I didn't have the blue circle there. So I'm just going to buy that apartment again really quick just so I can go in there and show you guys. I think it was slot three here. So yeah, I'm going to buy that apartment again i'm gonna run in there and you're gonna be able to see proof right here that all my deluxos are still here those are the ones that i bought with frozen money didn't wait to end the hallucination ended it right away and literally left session without swapping them and they're all still here all right so that's pretty much it that's frozen money and that's some of the things that you can do with frozen money you can incorporate ceo garages i believe as well even the mc clubhouse when you're doing the apartment glitch uh if you want to add a little bit more money to it but yeah if you don't have the 100 percent game save then that's when you might have to restart the glitch to actually get the peyotes over again but it's really not that hard of a glitch timing's not crazy on it and i'm sure most of you out there can do it if you're experienced at this but yeah, guys, that's going to be it for me. I hope you enjoyed the video. I certainly did. It's been a long time since I've made another one and uh, I plan on making more. All right. I don't really have a schedule. I just really wanted to make a good tutorial so that you guys can understand this glitch because it's one of the most complicated glitches out there. All right. But, you know, I'm back. I'm definitely going to be in the community. You'll see me in lobbies. I'm glitching. I'll try to make some more videos. And uh, yeah, so that's going to be it. My name is Roll Easy. I appreciate everybody coming by. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments section. If you have any questions about SPMP, direct them to Shift. All right. Shift knows everything. Peace out, everybody, and have a good night.